from, from an Islamic point of view, do you see that investors or promoters would have a preference engaging more with a country such as Malta because of our historical and cultural connections than places such as Dublin or, or Luxembourg? Uh, this, this is an advantage. I mean, when I came here uh, last year, the first positive uh, uh, thing that I've seen, even the language, I've recognized some Arabic words, uh, the relation to Arabic culture and, and, and the, the clo geographical close nearby to North Africa it m might be a big asset. It's just a question then of how promoting and marketing uh, the, the financial hub. And so far what, what we have seen, especially in surveys in Europe, when it's compared to big players like or big markets like Luxembourg, uh, we have seen that the biggest, uh, f in terms of volume, the big uh, funds are all launched in Luxembourg and Malta is then a niche for, 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 for funds who are under below this 70, 75 million. Uh, so it's a question where Malta is positioning themselves and a question how facilitating that. And, uh, I mean uh, Malta might have an internal agenda, an own agenda to drive this. The Maltese um, fund market with the fund Islamic fund market in Ireland and in, Lu in Luxembourg, um, our total net assets are in the region of 8.5 billion euros or, or something like that. And that includes all PIFs, all USITs, uh, non-USITs, retail funds, etc. The, the size of the Islamic fund industry in Luxembourg is, I think, 450 million or something mm -hmm. in that region. And that in Ireland, something 220 million. Mm -hmm. So we are still, or rather, we can still be first movers Mm. in this European market for Islamic funds because um, it's not like comparing the size of the QIF market in Ireland with that of the PIF uh, mm. market in Malta where there is uh, no comparison in, in asset sizes. But as you say, if we are um, careful in the way that we can market um, Malta as an Islamic fund jurisdiction, we can mm. catch up with these jurisdictions. And mm. it takes word of mouth uh, for people to feel comfortable with jurisdiction because they have used it before. So it's important that we try and find a way to get the first Islamic fund license in Malta as soon as possible. Something else which may help that um, is that Malta has been very successful in attracting fund platforms and that means that promoters set up their typically their SICA vehicle and they will set up sub-funds under that vehicle uh, for different promoters. Um, I used to be under the incorrect impression that when we talk about Islamic funds, you can only have a CCAV, which is Islamic, it's ring fenced, and all that that CCAV does is Islamic based, which is not the case, in fact, because you can have a standard, normal, non Sharia compliant CCAV, which can launch a Sharia compliant sub fund, even though it's just a clash of shares of the same person. And that perhaps can create new opportunities for people who have set up platforms in Malta to start considering, exploring, um, uh, attracting um, uh, Islamic promoters to Malta. The problem there I see is that um, twofold. Number one, because of the restricted investment universe for investment for Islamic funds, mm -hmm. you are restricting your chances of getting good returns. Two, you add an extra layer of expenses because of the Sharia board that you have to have for that, um, uh, for that particular sub-fund. And that means that if you cannot generate good returns, no investor will put his money into that fund. Mm -hmm. Your cost ratios then go, yeah. go. so you're adding, you're adding more cost mm -hmm. on a smaller fund size, mm -hmm. which uh, will drag down the NAV on in your, in your fund. Yeah. I mean, especially that cost perspective or that issue of, of much more, co especially in, in, in Islamic finance, uh, more cost than conventional products. What we have seen in, in practice. Um, sometimes it occurs more cost because for some institutions it's business development. So it's not high stream producing something out of, of our mechanic or of our, our processes. People have to set up a new development, a new process. That sometimes is normal for new development, but we're sure as soon uh, people would then more focus on Islamic finance and make it more streamlined, then these kind of costs will be of course reduced. Second, is the cost of the industry due to competition. If we would see that there would be more competition, we're quite sure that this kind of cost compared to conventional products will go, go more down. Just to give you one example, and of course the volume. 
the first sovereign sukuk uh, on Islamic uh, sukuk fund on, on, on a sale and lease back basis was in Germany. The state of Sachsen-Anhalt um, took the, the real estate of the, uh, of the uh, Ministry of Finance, leased it into a vehicle uh, based in Holland and sold it to GCC investors with 100 million euro, I think. Uh, we have spoken to the uh, project manager who was in charge. He told us that the cost plus was uh, then there was about 30,000 euros compared to the conventional area. So we have seen in that case that the cost compared to 100 million is not extremely more. But of course, you have certain cost drivers, but we see if uh, competition is more and the market grow this might uh, balance itself. And uh, regarding the markets, uh, if we speak about what uh, investors prefer in terms of investing to Malta or to Luxembourg, sometimes it's even easier uh, than what we have heard here from the structure. People in the GCC, for example, during the year, they hear minimum 100 initiatives of investments. So a lot of people are coming to that country, especially in, 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 in booming phases. Uh, I heard the, minister or the, the, the government of Algeria, for example, has received minimum 15 visits from investment banks to sell them any kind of fancy products. So what I would try to say, people want to see something which has a brand, which has a quality, and when you tell them it's a CCAF fund or usage fund, then they recognize that, okay, then it's fine. So as soon Malta can put themselves into a position in terms of uh, getting visible. Furthermore, I see the advantage here uh, compared to Luxembourg, for example, when you've seen ETF, uh, ETF funds over there from HSBC. They're listed there, but actually no one is really promoting it actively because the, the, the owner of that funds are not in Luxembourg or somewhere in Germany or somewhere else in London. And due to any reputational issues or feelings, they're not promoting it actively. I see advantage here. If a fund is listed here, it's no problem to promote it and to marketing it without any concerns. Since you're quite close here to the uh, Islamic uh, regions, it will be much, much easier than having a fund in Luxembourg, being a uh, France or German uh, asset manager, and try to sell it somewhere over there. So you gave a positive... Uh Feeling. Uh, fee because it is listed. Now, most of these regulated funds are not listed. Yeah. There's, there's no particular advantage from our perspective. From mm. a, an Islamic investor point of view, yeah. would a listing actually create the attractiveness of a fund yeah. uh, which is already a, an already Islamic there. fund? I mean, you have, you have two kind of, 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 of uh, possibilities of, of listings or of, of launching that kind of funds. And this is actually not an uh, Islamic specific part, this is then more an investor preference especially in that region. When you have people who already have experience here in that area and already invested in any kind of, of, of uh, physical investments, real estate, or any kind of other products, then they also more interested than also to look into that kind of OTC uh, listings, OTC deals. If you have people who are on the first mm, time investments, then they would like to see that kind of standardized uh, products, very liquid in terms of listed, so that they know they are in, 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 in standardized uh, markets with, with, with re regulations where you can invest your money in and you're sure that you get your money out. So this is then also kind of, 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 of investor preference, uh, which is actually not only driven by Islamic perspective, but also as a in normal investor perspective.